Hi everybody, this is Lily Zhu at HubSpot, and today I'm introducing how to use free online tools to monitor your brand. So why should you monitor your brand on the web? Well, there are three reasons. First, consumers are talking about your brand, which makes it important for you to engage in these conversations and get to know the opinions of your services. Also, we can take advantage of free tools on the web to monitor them. In this video, we're introducing three tools, Google Applications, Twitter Feeds, and Social Mission. There are, however, many more tools available on the web to monitor different types of content relevant to your business. First, Google Reader and Google Alerts. As its name suggests, Google Reader is a feed reader that aggregates any content that produces an RSS feed, such as blogs, articles, and news. On the other hand, Google Alerts makes up feed content based on Google search results. So let me show you how to use these tools. To use Google Reader, you need to have a Google or Gmail account. After logging into your Gmail, click on Reader in the upper left corner. Now we see the Google Reader page. On the left side, you can change settings on what you share, who you follow, and what you subscribe to. To subscribe to alerts, click on the More tab in the upper left corner. In the drop-down menu, click Even More and a new window pops up. Click on Alerts on the top of the new page. Type in your company name or a topic of interest in the search term blank. Decide what type of content you wanted to subscribe to, how often you want to receive updates, and then choose Feed in the Deliver To option. Then click Create Alert. In the Deliver To section, choose View in Google Reader to import all alerts there. Now you will see Alert under the Subscription section. You can always choose to unsubscribe by clicking on the drop down list. Next, Twitter feeds. By subscribing to Twitter feeds, you receive instant updates on all Twitter posts that mention your business. The setup process is similar. First, go to search.twitter.com. Type in your topic of interest. You will then be directed to the page containing all relevant posts. Click on Feed for this query on the upper right corner. Now copy the URL link, go back to Google Reader, click on Add a Subscription, and paste the URL link into the box. The third tool is Social Mention. Social Mention is a website that finds all chats about your business and filters them by types of content, such as video, blog, and network. Some distinct features of Social Mention are, first, the site provides data on strength, sentiment, reach, users, basically information on how positively and extensively people are discussing your business. Another distinct feature is that the site allows you to subscribe to specific or all types of fees relevant to your business. Let me show you what I mean. Go to socialmission.com, type in your business name, and choose what types of content you want to see. On the new page, you can see data on how often and how positively people are talking about your business, and you can filter searches by clicking on different categories. One thing to keep in mind is that Social Mission uses a simple algorithm in categorizing comments, so numbers alone are not conclusive, and you may want to look at individual comments yourself to decide whether they are positive or negative. Click on RSS feed on the right side. Once again, Copy the new link and paste it into Google Reader. Note that your feed content depends on what you chose for the search. For example, if you chose to search blogs only, your RSS feed on that page will show blogs only. Okay, so that was our brief introduction. After familiarizing yourself with these tools, you need to decide three things. First, which tools are most relevant to your brand. Second, decide on the frequency of updates. Third, decide on the extent to which you will participate in online conversations. These decisions may depend on the nature of your business and types of conversations that matter most to its success. For more information, check out HubSpot's ebook, webinars, and some more in-depth guides on using these tools. Thanks!